Are you paying attention yet? Are you finally waking up? Nancy Pelosi. I'm going to get to this statement that she had to say on the Today Show. I'm going to tie it all in with Bible prophecy. I'm going to be very serious with this video. Normally, I like to joke around a little bit, have some fun. This is going to be very serious, though. We'll talk about it in less than 10 seconds. First, guys, if we could, if YT lets you, try and hit that like button for me. Also, very important that you share this video. Hit the bell, subscribe. I wear the glasses because I'm blind. And if you guys could donate to my ministry, help support me. See more information there in the description. Nancy Pelosi went on the Today Show and said that China is one of the freest societies in the world. Talked about them having strong democracy with courageous people. And she said, if you don't believe me, you don't take my word for it. Just check out the Freedom House democracy rankings. If you were to look at these rankings, which shows the top countries, they rank them as far as which nations are the most free. China is ranked 107 out of 112 nations. Okay, you told us not to take your word for it. So we checked with Freedom House. 107 out of 112. What this is, is a promotion, an acceptance of communism. She's telling you that what those people in China face each and every single day is freedom. It's their version of freedom. It's not true freedom. It's the government's version of what they deem to be freedom. Anybody ever read Orwell's 1984? Because that's what you have playing out right now before your eyes. Nancy Pelosi wants what's happening in China to happen in the United States. If her and other Democrats can get you to believe silly statements like this, you'll believe anything. They want that for the United States of America. The United States could be free like China. Oh, we should all aspire to be just like them. Have our nation just as free. She touched on the Trump Mar-a-Lago raid as well and said that, well, there must be some justification for it. I mean, if it happened, there's obviously a reason. Interesting word, justification, because what you have to understand, ladies and gentlemen, there will always be a justification for evil by people who are evil, by people who are tyrants, by people who worship Satan, they will always justify evil. Note that they are never wrong in anything that they do. Anything that they say is gospel. That is what it is. Two plus two for them equals five, right? I have been saying this for a while. If you put your hope and faith in a politician like Trump, you're going to be let down. What happened to him was terrible. That raid, everything, what they did there. Here's the thing. A lot of people are talking about how Republicans are saying, we're going to investigate this. When we take power back, when we win with the red wave of the midterms, which by the way, isn't even guaranteed. Even if they do, I'm not that convinced anything will change. Kevin McCarthy said that he will investigate this. Just like they're going to investigate Fauci and everything, right? Do you really believe that? You really believe that they're going to go to those lengths? 
but they're investigations. Their investigations mean nothing to me at all. Nothing. But look what they continue to do. Everyone's talking about how this is a sad day in America, and it is. Talking about corruption, it is. But what's going to be done about it? Absolutely nothing. Is God allowing all of this to happen? Yes, he is. Why is he allowing it to happen? I'm going to go back to something else that I've said before. This corrupt administration is the perfect administration to bring forth the end and usher in the return of Jesus Christ. I truly feel sorry for the people that believe that Trump is somehow going to be restored back to the presidency. I do. I truly do. America is going to be one of the first countries that surrenders itself to the beast. I always used to think it would be one of the last. It doesn't appear to be that way. It looks like it's going to be one of the first. You may not have Trump able to run in a future election because the guy could be in jail or God forbid even worse. Are you awake yet? Do you see what's finally happening? What are you willing to do about it? If you're waiting for justice, earthly justice to come to these individuals, for the corrupt actions that they've committed, you'll never see it. Justice will come from God in his timing. These people will be dealt with. But that will come at a time in this world when this world is going through what I believe is going to be the great tribulation period and all of these people will then pay a heavy price for what they've done but if you think that investigations are going to do anything, if you think that they're going to be prosecuted, thrown out of their jobs, you got another thing coming. Satan has his time to run amok, to cause as much chaos as he possibly can, and that's what he's doing right now. God is not going to get in the way of his own prophecy being fulfilled. He's not going to stop the Antichrist from rising has to happen. It's been written in the Word of God. You can't prevent that. You have to know how to endure what's about to come. Are you awake? Are you starting to realize what's happening now? Or will you continue to look towards politicians as your saviors instead of Jesus? I'll leave it there. I'll put more information on this in the description. You guys can let me know your thoughts. If you enjoy my daily content here, talking about end time Bible prophecy headlines, and you want to help support my ministry with a generous donation, click the link to my PayPal below or sign up on my Patreon for just five bucks a month. When you do, you will be alerted for all the content I put out. If you guys only watch my content through YT alerts, you're going to miss a ton because they barely send those anymore. Plus, you can comment there censorship free send direct messages. All the links are below. A big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. Now, I'm not done just yet. I don't leave any video here without giving people the opportunity to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior. If that's you, if you're watching right now, you're someone that has not yet received Christ into your life, I want to lead you in a prayer right now to get you to do just that because time is running out. Ladies and gentlemen, today is the day of salvation. The first thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you're a sinner. That's something that we all are. But here's the good news. God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. And repent means to turn from your sin. Not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from lifestyles or habits anything in your life that goes against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and you ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then 
You invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more on this for you down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you could help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.